So if you remember, at the beginning of this, I tried to convince you that the exponents are why you would want to be able to do this. Well, let's consider how would I evaluate negative 4 plus 4i to the 6th power. Hmm. Okay. Well, I could square it and then raise that resulting binomial to the third power and get me someplace, right? But let's think about doing this a different way. So what I have is negative 4 plus 4i, and that's my a plus bi. Let's turn that into, let's convert that into an r e to the i theta. So think about where we are in the complex plane. Negative 4, 4 is here. And you may already have jumped to the fact that this is going to be 3 pi over 4. But just in case you didn't get there, let's get it there together. Okay. So what do I know? I know that r squared equals a squared plus b squared, so r squared equals 32, so r equals 4 square root 2, yes, okay, so now what, well remember that a, a over r, so negative 4 over 4 square root 2, equals cosine theta, and b over r equals sine theta, which means that negative 1 over square root 2 is cosine theta. That is also root 2 over 2. And 1 over square root 2, which is the same thing as root 2 over 2, is equal to sine theta, we remember then that this means that theta equals 3 pi over 4 because those are special known unicircle values. So now I can write negative 4 plus 4i to the 6th power as r, which is 4 square root 2, times e to the i theta. So 3 pi over 4 times i to the sixth power. And now we can use rules of exponents. So this is 4 square root 2 to the sixth power times e to the 6 times 3 pi over 4 i. Because remember that a power to a power would multiply exponents. So that's 18 fourths, which is 9 pi over 2. And let's see, what is 4 to the 6th power? Well, Desmos knows that answer. 4 to the 6th power is 4096. And we want to multiply that by... The square root of 2 to the 6th power, you can do that. Or you can do 2 to the 3rd power, which is 8. So, 32,768 times e to the 9 halves pi i. Now, I want to go back to standard form. Okay? So, now, what do I know? Well, I know that this means that r is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 and theta is 9 pi over 2. Oh, well, 9 pi over 2 is bigger than 2 pi. So 9 pi over 2 is coterminal. With pi over 2. So we can also use theta equals pi over 2, because those are the same angles. 
same place on our unit circle. So we remember that A equals R cosine theta, which means that A equals 32768 times the cosine of pi over 2. What's the cosine of pi over 2? 0. So that means A equals 0. B equals R times the sine of pi over 2. What's the sine of pi over 2? 1. So B equals 32768, which means that negative 4 plus 4i raised to the 6th power is 32,768i. Much easier than using the a plus bi form. Okay. So this also now allows us to evaluate the square roots of complex numbers using pretty much the same technique. So let's evaluate the square root of 9i. Well, I can take square root of 9, that's 3, but I don't know how to do the square root of 9i. All right, well, we remember that this is 9i to the 1 half power. So what I have is z equals 9i which means a equals zero, so b equals nine. We can go through all the machinations to put this into polar form, or we can remember where we are. We're here on our complex plane, so that my angle is pi over two. So nine i equals, and my radius is nine, equals radius times e, to the theta i, which means that 9i to the 1 half is equal to 9e to the pi over 2i to 1 half, which is 9 to the 1 half, so square root of 9, times e to the 1 half times pi over 2i. So this is 3e to the pi over 4i, which means that my radius is 3 and my theta is pi over 4. So we're going to go back to rectangular form. So we remember that a equals r times the cosine of theta, which is 3 times the cosine of pi over 4 which is 3 root 2 over 2. B is our sine theta, which is 3 times the sine of pi over 4, which is also 3 root 2 over 2. But what this means then is that the square root of 9i is equal to a, so 3 root 2 over 2 plus b, 3 root 2 over 2 i. Okay. Hopefully this has been helpful. I think this is fairly straightforward if you can wrap your brain around a couple of things. And those couple of things are that we can write complex numbers in a few different ways. We can write them as z equals a plus b i. Or we can write them as z equals r e to the, excuse me, to the i theta. And a squared plus b squared equals r squared. And a over r equals cosine theta. And b over r equals sine theta. All right, enjoy this section. Use this conversion between rectangular and polar coordinates to make complex number arithmetic easier. 
and I will look forward to talking to you soon.